stand together and sing. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship His holy name, sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship Your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawn. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when they. attention one more time to the uh, connect with us card uh, if you've not had a chance to respond to that we appreciate your attention to that we continue with our worship You 
give life, you are love. You give light to darkness. You give hope. You restore every heart that is broken. Green. pointed out that Kylie Waldeck was to have her baptism, which was carried out by Pastor Sean Daughtery over in China a number of weeks, a few months ago. We've been wanting to do a reaffirmation of that baptism and just celebrate it here among the, the community here at Prince of Peace. Uh, that was scheduled for today, and Kylie is not feeling well. She has a virus. Uh, diagnosed yesterday afternoon and was not able to be here today. So uh, we want to keep Kylie in our prayers as we continue. Lord Jesus, we thank you for Charlotte's baptism and we were looking forward to celebrating Kylie's. Lord, we just, we will be able to do that sometime soon, but not today. We just thank you for her baptism that has been carried out, help her to grow in that. We look forward to celebrating as the community as Pastor Daughtery has carried this out a few weeks ago. So help her to be well soon. Lord, we celebrate with all the graduates of all the schools, the high schools, the colleges, 
eighth grades, whatever graduations have been carried out for the people gathered here today. We particularly remember the 79 graduates of Prince of Peace Christian School celebrating their baptism this past Friday evening. Thank you for all the work that has gone on with the families and the faculty, our church, and so many others, and helping these graduates to this point, to this juncture in their lives, in their full journey uh, of life together with you, Lord Jesus. And Almighty God, your power is greater than all the might of men. Give to us the faithful leaders in every place. We will love what you command and hate what you forbid. Bless those who make and administer and judge our laws in creating us both the desire and the will to be good citizens, obeying all the just laws and serving our neighbor in love with your love. Lord, as we continue to work our way into and through the calling process for a new senior pastor, we pray for your guidance for us, particularly for our call committee that has come together. We pray for each member of the call committee and for Glenn Geltmeyer, the chairman of the committee. Lord, guide them with your grace, your love, and your wisdom and discernment as they work their way through all of it. We commend them and the process to you. Lord, on this Memorial Day weekend, would you receive our thanks for the saints who have gone before us and remain faithful unto death. We remember and honor particularly those men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice for the freedoms we celebrate and enjoy and live out every day. Lord, forgive us when we take them so for granted. Give us courage so that we may follow where these men and women have led the way and on whose shoulders we stand. Lord, even today, would you hold our servicemen and women in your strong arms. Cover them with your sheltering grace and your presence as they stand in the gap for our protection. We also remember the families of all of our troops. We ask for your unique blessings to fill their homes. And we pray your peace and your provision, your hope and your strength to fill their lives. Lord, we do indeed commend ourselves to you as we prepare for that time of Holy Communion once again. Open our hearts to the fullness of this Holy Sacrament. Open our hearts to your body and blood that you will be giving us in this sacrament to the full forgiveness of all of our sins as we come to you. In your loving name, Lord Jesus, we pray as we continue to pray the prayer you have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on that night when he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The same way also, after that supper, he, he uh, took the cup. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, drink, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of all of your sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Peace of the Lord be with all of you. Please be seated. We will be approaching the altar under the direction of the ushers. Oh, you've come to bring peace, to be loved, to be in it.
come with all your heart, sing His love and yours. His love and yours. Forever His love and yours. Forever His love and Forever and ever. His love and Forever His love endures. Forever His love endures. Forever and some encouragement. Let me give you myself in this sacrament. Let me assure you that you've messed up and I know it, but you are forgiven. You are my redeemed and restored forgiven brothers and sisters. You are my bride and I feel you coming. I'm so excited. But along the way, would you stop and bring someone with you? Would you share the invitation with them? I pray that this holy sacrament refreshes you in the reality of your invitation. I hope it refreshes you in your desire to share it because it's such good news. Why would we hold it to ourselves? How many can we bring with us? May you be refreshed in this sacrament today. We always invite you to feel free to return to, return to the altar rail either over in that section over there or any of the rails. Spend a little bit of time with Jesus in prayer. There may be somebody over there to join with you, to pray with you if we would like that. But you're always welcome. As you go out into this holiday weekend, may you go with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, your heavenly Father, and the fellowship and the communion of the Holy Spirit with you now and always. And all God's people said together, Amen. His love endures.